Hello. Hello. And welcome to the Homestead Life Finland. <coughs> Today uh, we have a uh, lots of work to do on our homestead and my farmhand Samuel here is going to help me with all the work. Samuel here uh, doesn't speak any English but he's very keen to learn. I've been trying to teach him some some words. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> so uh, we normally speak Spanish because uh, my wife is from Peru, so we're a bilingual family. We speak Spanish and Finnish since we live in Finland. Uh, but anyways, uh, Samuel would like to try to say uh, something in English, so I'm gonna ask him in in Spanish that if he can do it for us. Uh, Samuel, uh, ¿nos puedes decir uh, homestead uh, in, in inglés? <laughs> no, this is take two. <laughs> so Samuel, go ahead. Homestead. Homestead. Yeah, there you go. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué quieres decir para nuestros suscriptores? Que se suscriben más, ¿no? Claro que sí. He wants to say that oh, to all of our subscribers that you need to sub subscribe more. And if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe some more. So today's tasks are that we are going to trim all of our fruit trees. In the open top trim, we are going to want the tree to grow not so tall. And if you are going to trim with the leader, then the tree is going to grow quite tall. So I want my tree. It is a very important task to do uh, every every spring. And then we are going to also check if they have some moss growing because moss is a very good hideout for all the pests. So we are going to remove all the moss from the tree trunks and the branches. We are also going to brush our strawberries. Uh, if you don't know what that means, uh, stay tuned. And uh, some other things that we are going to do today, we are going to build a wind cover for the hen house. We, we also have been collecting some eggs uh, and the egg incubator arrived like a few days ago in the mail. So Today we are going to set it up and make our own little birdies. I will be posting separate videos about how to trim a fruit tree and how to set up an egg incubator. Uh, I think the brand is Covatuto24 that we bought, so there will be a complete guide how to use it. We also managed to finish the chicken coop. The new hen house is now ready and our goal is to produce all our meat by ourselves. I know this is an ambitious goal, but I don't want to buy any more meat since it has all that nasty anti antibiotics and chemicals in it. So whatever meat we get, we eat. We are going to use the egg incubator and we are going to produce a lot of chickens in the springtime. And these chickens we are going to butcher before the winter and just leave the best laying hens. I don't have the exact numbers now. How many chickens do you really need to feed the family of four? But I'm going to give you them later on when I know. Now, as you can see, I managed to uh, do some changes here. Uh, first of all, uh, we bought some feeding and drinking automats. This is so much easier because the chickens are not going to make a mess. And I know that this food is going to last them for them for several days. So I just have to come and check it out that everything is okay. I don't have to give the food every day many times. So it makes my life a lot easier. We also uh, added a heating lamp. This is what we are going to use in the winter time. Uh, basically the, the, the darkest days of winter we have maybe three or four 
hours of light if even that so i think it's important that we give our chickens a little bit light so that's why i bought this 100 watt heating lamp so i can keep my chickens happy because i know how depressing it is when you don't see any light he did also install a chicken swing they haven't tried it yet but i hope they're gonna enjoy that i designed this place so that we can separate the the small birds here and then the bigger ones are not going to be giving them uh, a lot of trouble hello there they are such a curious creatures every time i come here they just need to come and check it out we did place some golf balls on the nest on the nests they already started laying some eggs uh, in these nests so it's a good way to to indicate them where do you want the chickens to lay their eggs i also filled the bucket with some sand and wood ash it's a good way for them to come and bathe and they enjoy it a lot this is the so-called uh, safe room for the chickens there's a tiny hall where they can come and go and that leads to outside as you can see they can go to the aviary the idea of this uh oh one is laying eggs there the idea of this safe room is that if we have uh, extreme winter temperatures sometimes it can go more than minus 30 degrees below zero it would be a good that the chickens have a place where they can stay together very close and like i said i'm not gonna have a lots of chickens during the winter time so this uh, place is perfect for them uh, it has uh, five millimeters fin foam isolation uh, all the sides so it's gonna gonna keep them warm we also installed the the wind wall the lower part is plywood and the upper part is some uh, wind stopping shield basically it is a lot cheaper so this is a good way to to build your hen house it's not very resistant so that's why i put it up there and down part is the made from uh, plywood so i can even wash it and keep it clean and the chickens are not going to eat it because trust me chickens they like to 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 eat everything If you didn't watch the previous episode where I did put the seeds and planted these plants, uh, there are like uh, there are uh, cherry tomato plants, 
greenhouse cucumbers and then I have watermelons which is a new crop that we are going to try this year. Here we have uh, two different type of cucumbers. We have the greenhouse cucumber and then we have the open ground cucumber. Espérate, dijo yo no mucho. Well, we are gonna put a little bit of this tomato fertilizer in each hole. We are going to use a, a technique that we are going to plant two cherry tomato plants in, in one hole. Uh, before you start uh, planting, you can open the, the root stock very gently, not to damage the roots. Just gently open it so and give it a little rub so it can start growing the, the roots more faster. And when we plant a tomato plant, we always want to plant it a little bit uh, like this on, at, on, on its side, so not like a directly, so it's gonna grow a lot better. Uh, now we are gonna take the distance, we are going to use 60 centimeters in between the plants. So the next plant is gonna come here somewhere. We are going to do the same with cucumbers. Uh, we have uh, one plant that is, has two cucumbers. I wanna try if you can do the same type of planting with cucumber that you plant two in, in one hole. I haven't done it before. Uh, last year we planted just one cucumber per hole and the cucumbers you can just uh, plant like this. You can put the, the plant straight. So the last thing before we finish we are going to plant the watermelons. The last thing we are going to do, we are going to protect the plants with some growth tunnels. So there is like a mini greenhouse inside a greenhouse. Like I said earlier uh, that I was checking the wet weather forecasts and it said that it's not gonna fall below zero degrees Celsius during the night time. But we are uh, gonna guarantee that even if it does, the plants are not gonna get any frost damage. So that's why we are putting the extra, extra layer on them. Oh, I'm telling you, Spring Garden is, is such a busy place where I'm like, I don't know which direction I should go. There's so much things to do all the time. Uh, I'm almost finished with the fruit trees and then I'm gonna start with the strawberries. Behind me you can see a cherry tree. Every spring it has been suffering from pests and now I have gave it a good clean cut for it. I, I also cut it in a way that it's, it's having an, an open center and it's gonna give a good airflow for the plant and that's gonna help prevent the pests. But it has also some, uh, some moss type of thing growing. Uh, so we are going to use uh, a steel brush to clean it. After the steel brushing, I am going to spray this cherry tree with some solution. Uh, it contains soap, uh, food oil and pyrethrin. It's completely organic and I'm going to put the, the whole recipe in the description below. This is the type of steel brush that I am going to use. It's quite soft uh, brush and it belong, it belonged to a guy named Holot. Probably a Polish guy, uh, I don't know. Holod, if you're uh, watching this video and you were building the new power plant 
in in Kilt Pilahti refinery let me know i can send it back to you uh it's been serving me very well so let's get into it uh we start gently brushing the tree as you can see all the the moss is gonna go away we don't want to damage the the tree bark The reason that we are uh, removing the moss from the tree trunk is that the possible pests that it has uh, have probably laid their eggs in there. So by removing the moss and spraying the tree, we can make sure that the pests are not going to get, get an advantage on us. And I hope this year we are going to get some very delicious cherries. So we ran into a little situation here as I was filling the yard with the, the gravel. We found something that I didn't know that it was actually here when we cleaned all the old firewood piles away and we found uh, this kind of a a well or I don't know what this kind of a well I don't know exactly what what's the function of this but we noticed that there are indeed uh, two frogs in the well and there's one two coming in and nothing going out so what we need to do now is that we need to rescue those two fellas from the well. Rescue party reporting for duty. <laughs> so let's try to save these poor guys. I hope they are gonna. Oh, there's actually three. There's an army of frogs down there. So I don't know if this works. Come on, come on, little guy. Come on. Come here. You can do it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. Uh, Me puedes dar este el palito, Samuel? Eso no, el otro, el otro. Gracias. Okay, we got one out. Hey there. Welcome back to the world. So, let's try to save your friends, okay? This guy is the leader. I can see the, the position he's taking, like, don't touch me. Okay, leader. Yeah! There's the other guy. One more to go. Okay, we got the last one. Oh, yes. Job done. Homestead rescue complete. Ooh.